Muy buenos días, misioneros de Miguel Bermúdez Marín. Allá en Matamoros estamos en la congregación que pastorea el reverendo Matamoros, Tamaulipas, en la congregación que el reverendo José Raúl Hernández Carvan Pastas, y todos los ministros se reunieron hoy, el sábado 26 de noviembre de este año, 2022, conectados a través de la red Amazonas o de la red satelite Amazonas o Internet, en los diferentes in different países. countries. En Levítico capítulo 25, in chapter 25 verso 8 en adelante, verse 8 dice, and onwards it says, y contarás siete semanas, and thou shalt siete veces, siete number veces, seven Sabbath of years unto thee, seven times seven years, and the space of the seven Sabbath of years shall be unto thee forty and nine years. Then shalt thou cause the trumpet of the Jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month, in the day of atonement shall ye make the trumpet sound throughout all your land. And ye shall hallow the fiftieth year and proclaim liberty throughout all the land. And to all the inhabitants thereof, it shall be a jubilee unto you. And ye shall return every man unto his possession. And ye shall return every man unto his family. And he writes Revelation 10, 8 to 11. El año 50 os será jubileo. A jubilee shall that fiftieth year be unto you, ye shall not sow neither reap that which groweth of itself in it, nor gather the grapes in it of thy vine and rest. For it is the jubilee, it shall be holy unto you, ye shall eat the increase thereof out of the field. In the year of the jubilee ye shall return every man unto his possession. And on verse 28 of the same chapter 25 of Leviticus, but if he be not able to restore it to him, then that which is sold shall remain in the hand of him that hath bought it until the year of Jubilee. And in the Jubilee it shall go out, and he shall return unto his possession. And he draws there a star of David. And he writes, the trumpet equals the voice of the Messiah. You may take your seats, those of you who are standing. In the message which Brother William preached, May God give us a spirit of wisdom and of revelation to work together in the work of God. It was preached on 1st of August 2009 in Monterrey, Mexico. He tells us, We have already seen how that spirit of revelation and wisdom, or wisdom and revelation, must come, which we have seen that it comes by means of the Holy Spirit through the messenger, to the first messenger, and to the messenger first, and through the messenger to the people. There is no any other way established by God as as he worked in the past, he will work in our time. For the Lord will do nothing except he reveals, he reveals his secrets to whom? To his servants, his prophets. Amos 3.7 In the message book called The Region of Israel, on page 92, he says, The holy convocation is the sound of, of the shofar, the echo of, of Sinai, the voice of the Messiah, the sign of the resurrection, the awakening of humanity. And then he writes there, The sign of the resurrection, the voice of the Messiah, which is the voice of God in every age and in every dispensation, speaking to the people, for the Lord will do nothing except he first reveal his secrets to whom? To his servants, the prophets. He continues saying, 
That is one of the important things that people need to know, not to go on their own to discover things, to invent interpretations, but to be attentive to the voice of Christ, of the Holy Spirit, that has always been speaking through a man, through a messenger. You notice here, it tells us, let's say here what the Reverend William Branham said of how revelation comes to the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to read to you, it's on page 168 and 265 in the Church Ages book. And we are going to read that little part there from uh, 155. Um, we look for the book and we are going to see what he writes there about this portion which he is reading now. He says in the message, uh, says, but though it is broadcast for all who come within the range of the message, the message is received individually by only a certain qualified group in a certain way. Each individual of that group is one who has the ability to hear what the Spirit is saying by the way of the messenger. Those who here are not getting their own private revelation, nor is a group getting their collective revelation. He writes, uh, prophetic perception. And then he also writes, he ability to hear, the next to it he writes, prophetic perception. Uh, William says, so they are not receiving individually a revelation that is coming to them individually. That is, they started to study and said, this is this, this is, and this is this. Or the revelation of the whole group of ministers, church members, who start to study and say, this is such and such thing. But they are receiving what? Let's say, each individual of that group is the one who has the ability to hear what the Spirit is saying by the way of the messenger. Those who hear are not getting their own private revelation, nor is a group getting their collective revelation, but each person is hearing and receiving what the messenger has already received from God. And there, he writes revelation by the angel. Let's read a little bit uh, onwards. Let's continue reading here a little bit further in front. In the book of Ages, a little bit further in front on page 156. It says, In every age we have exactly the same pattern. That is why the light comes through some God-given messenger in a certain area. And then, from that messenger, there spreads the light through the ministry of others who have been faithfully taught. But, of course, all those who go out don't always learn how necessary it is to speak only what the messenger has spoken. And he draws there a cornerstone and the edges. And up on the cornerstone, one he puts one to seven, and he writes eight. Remember, Paul warned. This is in another, in another book. Let's check here also. In this other book, he writes. 
El Espíritu habla por el mensajero. The Spirit speaks through the messenger. It is already the Spirit of God speaking through each angel messenger. Y también escribe, la luz viene and he also writes, el the light Luego, comes through the messenger and then spreads. Continuamos leyendo. We continue reading. Recuerden, Pablo advirtió Remember, Paul warned the people to say only what he said. Ha salido de vosotros la palabra de Dios. If any man think himself to be a prophet si or spiritual, let profeta, him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the mandamiento commandments Señor. of the Lord. Le agregan aquí o le quitan what? allá. Y dentro de poco came the word of God out from you, or came it unto you, they add here, take away here, take away there, and soon the message is no longer pure, and the revival dies down. How careful we must be to hear one voice, for the Spirit has but one voice, which is the voice of God, Paul warned them to say what he said. Even as Peter did likewise, he warned them that even he, Paul, could not change one word of what he had given by revelation. Oh, how important it is to hear the voice of God by way of his messengers, and then say what has been given them to say to the churches. And he draws a pyramid and the bottom and the bottom of the pyramid. Sigue diciendo, and he continues saying aquí nuestro hermano William dice y nadie he says Vamos a ir un poquito antes donde nos quedamos. Es re, a Let's read a little bit before. Cada individuo en aquel grupo Each individual of that group is one who has the ability to hear what the Spirit is saying by way of the messenger. Those who hear are not getting their own private revelation, nor is a group getting their collective revelation. But each person is hearing and receiving what the messenger has already received from God. And no one can get ahead of the messenger at any time. Those who thought they knew better than Moses, and who thought that the priestly ministry could be or should be given to them, they lost the blessing of God. Moses had the last word from God for the people. And the first or so, and every word of God was his. And this is proven by the historical moment when Aaron and Miriam, or Mary, criticized Moses because he had married a young Cushite colored girl. And that bothered them as if they were the ones who had to choose. As Moses, since Moses was younger than them, but he was already about 40 years old when he arrived in Midian. And when he returns and is among them, he is already 8 years old. It was Moses' turn to choose, like every man, every young man, it is his right to choose his companion or, uh, or his uh, partner. His parents will advise him the best they can, but the young man is the one who has the last word. Uh, when he's, of course, already in his old age, the age of adulthood. In other words, let's say that on that stage of marriage, when he's of age, because although the parents want to impose their will on him, sometimes they leave the house with a girl. And so it happens with the girls too. That is, you can't put pressure on them, because then they can leave the home. And that brings a lot of problems later on. The best thing is to have a good friendship with the children and to deal with them in a friendly way so that they see the reality. 
y entonces and then pues decidan, they decide sin uno without pressurizing vean, them you notice that they understand and see that everything hijos, that parents do for their children is for their children's welfare as they say you have already gone through all that and you don't want them to go through maybe many situations that you have gone through when you were young and you don't want your children to go through those situations and some of them you have suffered a lot and you, you wouldn't want your children to suffer the, suffer the same so you try to avoid them going through those situations but the children do not understand and they think that you are trying to do things as you tell them not as they wish Um, y al final, and at the end, más bien es porque it is uno los ama y desea because you love them and wish no them that they do not suffer felices, and that they rather live happily. Veces, But many times, ellos no entienden they eso. do not understand that. Y cuando pasan por una and when, when they go through a situation, van a escuchar las palabras que uno then le va a decir, they will listen to the words that you will say to them, I told no, you, te lo había dicho. or I told you, or o that is why no I did no not te tell cosa. you, I did not allow ya, you to do such a thing. But it is too late when they realize it. Maybe they make some mistake that later on they are regretting and saying, Daddy, you were right, Mommy, you were right. I should have listened to you. Or they are saying nobody learns from someone's head, someone else's head. But one tries to help them as best as possible so that all the decisions they make are made according to the perfect will of God. Brother William here continues saying, well, parents have a responsibility to their children and they must fulfill it. The only thing that the father or the parents are the ones who give or who allow the guard's hand to go to the groom if they agree and if, if they don't agree then they don't do it and also those who are already united even if one of the two is not a believer don't start breaking up that family nucleus now stay as it, let it remain as it is and maybe they have been together for so many years uh, that person who is not a believer with that person who is not a believer but they have a good relationship and they, they have been together for years it remain as you are don't set up uh, to divorce them or to break the family nucleus But let them remain as they are. And if they are not married, it is good that they get married if they have been together for many years. Imagine if it is not convenient to break that family, especially if there are children involved. And if both are, both are believers, no están casados, es bueno they are not que married it is good for them to get married y también and also vamos a ver si let's say eh, ya llevan un tiempo if they have eh, been unidos together for a while vamos a decir años unidos let's say for y years tenían o tienen and they had o, or have un esposo a living husband because he divorced and is now with someone else but they have been together for a while and yet they are divorced well stay as you are it is not that now they are going to start breaking family nucleus or the man to take advantage and say wait let's throw this one side because you are not my partner or we are living in permissiveness It should stay as it is. All that is already forgotten. You already repented while the dispensation of grace was open. And that is already behind you. Now go forward fighting, working and praying to God for your transformation. Now, que pueden 
those who are or who can make a decision they are not now going to take and try to join for example to a woman who is divorced the man should not take her as a wife because she belongs to another man it is better for her to stay alone and the man should look for a girl who is single and who does not have that part of being divorced in other words all those things that we know which is not new we have known it for years but God has extended it by his mercy he has extended by his grace to us and helps us to he helps us all the times but already now is a time where we have to face and be aware that we are going to receive that what we are going to receive is the promises that God has for this time and we have to be well before God but we are not going to start now to take advantage and say I am going to disunite from you I am going to leave you because we are living in in permissiveness stay as you are because then you will be looking for a bigger problem because if you have children in the middle uh, because that relationship during that time you had children and that family union is broken then the children are affected and countless situations are affected and that is not good either as it is stay that way the same thing happened the in that time since 1974 around there 1977 more or less the same thing happened what he recommended was that they stay as they were not to separate from the couple or from the partner uh, the companionship which they already had now if a woman is living with another and has not divorced and the husband insists that she returns it is better that she returns to her husband there are countless divine laws that are in the messages of brother Branham and the messages of brother William and all that is for is for our teaching so that we may stand before God. We must take advantage of all the time that God is giving us to have everything arranged before God. Now, our brother William continues saying here, he made that, um, that parenthesis, let's say, and it has been a good it's been good for us to talk about those little things maybe some of them will continue to look for more and more because all the cases are different you cannot listen for example to a, a to an advice given to a pastor for a couple and immediately, immediately identify with it and use it for the situation that he has to act but each situation is different. Maybe all of them for the same line, but each one has its own situations, and one must see each situation and not make a, a single opinion. Let's say, but each one is different. That is why the greeting that I sent to pastors there, I think it was in August, was towards that situation. You didn't hear what it was. So only the advice was given, but you didn't hear what it was. See? It was advice, but you have to know that, that every situation is different. You have to know that every situation is always different. And the other situations, any advice we can give you, we give it to you with much love based on the scriptures. Because 
everyone's Aquí desire no. is to be well. Aquí no hay ningún There otro, is no otra other purpose here. Lo que es What we want is to be well before Lo God. What we want is to please Him. Lo que es What we want is to do His perfect Él. will. Porque Because what is coming is something so great, so great, that many times one gets to thinking about human things, about uh, things which are passing, which will go away. Uh, for example, um, sometimes they grieve. Oh, but I, I am like this. Oh, I am like that. I have been in this situation for years. Keep moving forward. Don't grieve. What you can fix, fix it. And what you can't fix, because you have been like this for years, let's say married to a divorced woman or to speak, keep going on. Keep holding on to the message, to the word. God will help you. He knows our heart. He knows our intention. That what we desire is to please Him. What we desire is to be in the image and likeness of Him. Now, if there is another intention in the heart, remember that God discerns the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And already, remember, everything is recorded and everything will be brought to light. In other words, everything will be known. Every evil intention, every intention that is in the heart of anything is being recorded and there is no way to go afterwards to erase those evil thoughts as to attack with evil intention attacking the work of God because thoughts can come to one's mind that's the place of the battle of struggle but one does not bring it down to the heart. He who brings it down to the heart and does it, puts it into action, and puts it into action in terms of working that bad intention, and also speaking to others, they will give an account to God for it. But the desire of all of us and the intention of and our intention is to please him and we correct whatever we have to correct whether it hurts or not because what we are going to receive is something so great that that is not compared to everything that we can have uh, for joy here on earth and happiness. There is no greater happiness than eternal life, than the eternal body and to reign with him for the millennium and for all eternity. We, cannot talk, we, can, we can continue talking in other talks. Maybe there will be some questions, some doubts. Do not make decisions lightly. Do not make decisions that you will later regret. Hey, I should not have done that. I did it quickly. I decided this quickly because I had such and such a thing. Do things wisely and everything will come out well. Because, once again I repeat this, He sees our hearts and the intentions of our hearts. That we love Him, that we love His messenger, that we love His message, we love the work. We love life, we love everything that is given us, and we are grateful to Him. And because we are grateful to Him, and because we belong to Him, because we are His children, He's going to have mercy on us, and He's going to help us. He will help us, and we will reach the goal of our adoption, of our transformation. That is why we have been here. That is why we have come to where we are now. We have come to win. We have come not to be defeated at the end, but we have come to win, to obtain the great victory in love divine. So go forward. Do not grieve. Do not think that now that everything is lost. Rather, think that everything is now getting better, because now what you felt in your heart, you are showing to God, and you are saying to Him, Lord, here I am. Look at my open heart. I'm doing this, or I made this decision many years ago, but look at my heart, Lord. I just want to please you. 
I just want to serve you. I want to do your perfect will. And he sees that sincerity there. And he works and is going to work in your life so that everything be and move for the good. To prepare you for your adoption, your transformation. Keep going. You are going to reach the goal. You notice by the way I'm here continuing saying after he finishes there talking about all that what he's saying now let's look at page 241 see it was like a parenthesis there and look what we have done now to like a, a parenthesis to, come to share among friends and look he says now let's check on page 241 of the book of ages where he also says as we have already stated Jesus identifies himself with the messenger of with the messengers of each age in other words another person cannot come and say no the Lord revealed himself to me or the Lord sent me an angel and taught me such and such a thing of the message of our time is occupying what the place of the messenger and we are going to read this part in the book of the ages that little part there which is on page 241 which was the one that he read there only the little part then it goes further on but not to continue reading all that there and to in the same book which he read it says as we have stated Jesus identifies himself with the messengers of each age they receive from him revelation on the word for each period this word revelation brings the elect of God out of the world and into full union with Jesus Christ these messengers are called stars because they shine with a borrowed or reflected light of the sun even Jesus they are also called stars because they are holders of light at night Thus, in the darkness of sin, they bring the light of God to his people. And there he draws where he says Jesus identifies himself with the messengers of each age. He writes the eight messengers and he draws a cornerstone. And before that, before that paragraph, where he is talking about the paragraph according to Revelation 22.16 and Second Peter 19, the Spirit is therefore making a promise to the elect of the dark ages relative to himself and then in the ages to come. He draws a cornerstone and he writes the morning star. And notice something here in one of the writings of the card that he wrote he writes and says Abraham had Isaac at a hundred years we talked about this yesterday and he writes at the end of the dispensation of the law he writes 50 and at, at the end of the dispensation of grace comes the sun and draws an arrow towards the cornerstone promised which is the second coming of Christ as the son of Abraham and below he writes a hundred that is he writes at the end of the dispensation of the law he writes fifty which is the first jubilee and he continues and he writes at the end of the dispensation of grace he also writes fifty and there he says that he says what he wrote and then below he writes a hundred he draws an arrow like this towards the pyramid and below are the edges. Now remember that after each dispensation 
Cristo en it was Christ ese mensajero que in that messenger that became the eighth. O sea, que en la dispensación in, words, in the dispensation de la gracia, of grace al final At the end, el octavo vendría a ser the eighth would become el ángel del Señor Jesucristo, the angel of the Lord Jesus Christ, el ángel de Jesús, the angel of Jesus, como él lo dibujó allí, as he drew it there, en esas pirámides, those pirámides que les mostré ayer, that I showed you yesterday. Y fíjense que esa dispensación del reino, that this dispensation of the kingdom, todo ese tiempo, covers que nos queda all that este time we have left on cuerpo, this planet abarca, earth in these bodies, and covers the millennium. Pero recuerden que luego But remember that then, está ese octavo is that eighth, que es el que estaría who is the one that would be milenio, after the millennium en la eternidad. and in Por eternity. That is why he writes eternity. En el, uno de los dibujos escribió Cristo. In one of the drawings he wrote Christ el reino because en la eternidad, it is the kingdom in eternity which Por will be unido, through the anointed one, Cristo, Christ reigning, unido, the anointed decir, one, the Messiah, también, which was also milenio. happening in the millennium. O sea que todo eso in other words, se va everything will be overlapped. But after no the millennium, se cuenta it is not counted tiempo, with the time lo ahora lo as we are contando, counting it now. Sino que esa dispensación But that dispensation llega hasta el milenio reaches y the millennium and then it passes a ese to octavo that eighth día dispensacional dispensational day el cual es eternidad which is eternity y ahí cuadran and there las ocho. the eight days are squared y es en ese segundo año de and jubileo. it is in that second year of jubilee Dice, it says Miren aquí lo que sigue diciendo Notice él, here what he este continues uh, saying in this writing. Jubileo, in the second year of Jubilee, he had the promised son Isaac, tipo de Cristo en su primera a type of Christ at his venida, first and second coming, por el cual Dios tendrá by whom God will have naciones que many nations nuevo, who will be the born again Cristo, or born through Christ. Aún Even the foolish virgins will form nations. Now notice, at the end of the dispensation of the law, came the promised son, Jesus. He would become the eighth. And at the end of the dispensation of grace, would come that promised son, which is the second coming, y and al final de la dispensación at the de end la of the dispensation of grace recuerden que hubo una brecha que se abrió remember that there was a gap entre that opened la séptima edad de la iglesia between the seventh gentile church age la cual corresponde a ese which tiempo corresponds to that time que se abrió ahí that opened there y esa escritura en that scripture o esa parte de esa etapa de la brecha también gap, fue cumplida was also en el lapso de tiempo en el lapso de tiempo en el tiempo del hermano Oran cuando quedó fuera pero también But, nos muestra y representa it also el shows tiempo us en and el represents cual the time desde que el hermano Oran dijo que el 1977 fue el fin de los sistemas mundiales y el entrada del milenio, allí to the millennium, hubo una apertura de una there brecha was que an se abrió, of a gap that was opened, lo cual todavía which still pertenecía belonged a la dispensación to the dispensation de la gracia, of grace, en donde el arcángel Gabriel, Gabriel nos estuvo trayendo was bringing Todo us everything that would be al final at the end de esa de la of gracia, that dispensation of grace which God would be fulfilling with, ese octavo, ese with que that eighth that would esa crown that gracia, dispensation of grace con esa angular, with that cornerstone la del hijo del which hombre, is the coming of the son of man which is the coming of the promised son angels. with his angels y and then Coronada, entonces, the church of the Lord would be crowned la iglesia del Señor, sin without la del Hijo del Hombre, the coming ángeles, of the Son of Man with His angels fulfilling that stage and that crowning part of the crowning of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ 
uh, during the ages, the church would not have that crowning, uh, that cornerstone, that eighth age, the age of the cornerstone. And as all the different dispensations had a, a cornerstone age, the age of the cornerstone is the one that crowns the dispensation of grace. And it is crowned and it is within that cornerstone that seven consecutive stages run which are the seven thunders of Revelation chapter 10. And we see that during that time we are told they saw another mighty angel come down from heaven clothed with a cloud and a rainbow was upon his head and his face was it were the sun and his feet as pillars of fire and he had in his hand a little book open and he set his right hand his right foot upon the sea and his left foot upon the earth and cried with a loud voice as when a lion roared and when he had cried seven, th seven thunders uttered their voices and now let's make a, a, a pause for a moment because there is a place where he tells us let's see if I can get it quickly where he told us about Moses and Elijah. It is the part where uh, here in a Bible study where he reads that our city is about the overcomer in one of the studies, diciendo, he's saying, o sea, dice la escritura, de the scripture of this Bible study, in Revelation 3, verse 12, says, Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more allí. out. Ahora, en algo aquí. Now notice something here. Él allí escribe, which he writes, estuvo allí. he was there, Salió he came de allí. out of there, Y vuelve and allí. he's coming back there. Miren eso. Notice that. Es ese que viene. That's one thing that is coming. Y sigue diciendo, y because he's sobre saying, and I write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is near Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven nuevo. from my God. And I write upon him my new name. Ese que vence and notice había salido de allí. that one who overcomes had gone out of there Salió de allí. O sea, estuvo allí. went out of there Salió in other words de allí he was there he came allí. out of there and he returns there ¿Cómo nos dice ahí? and we see how it tells us there que viene that de this allí. mighty o sea, angel of Revelation chapter 10 con el sobre su y su is coming down sol. from heaven caught with a cloud and a rainbow was upon his head and his face was it where the sun and his feet as pillars of fire and he had, his hand, he had in his hand a little book open and he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot upon the earth and remember that in Revelation chapter 5 he tells us and I saw the right hand of him that sat, that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side sealed with seven seals and I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who is worthy to open the book and close the seals thereof and no man in heaven nor in earth neither under the earth was able to open the book neither look their own and I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book 
Neither through their own. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the land of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and close the seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb, and it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And there he continues to relate. And here we see him already coming down with the book open in his hand in Revelation chapter 10. We see him already. That mighty angel coming down. In other words, he is coming out of the throne of intercession. He was there, as it says, as he wrote there, he was there, he came out from there, and he returns there. And that is something very important that data that he gives us there because you notice here we had read this in one of the studies and I want to read this little part here where he says Revelation 10, 1 to 11 the mighty angel comes down from heaven clothed with a cloud the rainbow around his head with with his eyes he writes see like a flame of fire, he writes Moses and Elijah. His feet like fine brass, as in a furnace with a little book open in his hand, the book of the seven seals. And he set his right foot, he writes Moses, upon the sea, and the left foot, he writes Elijah, upon the earth, and cried as a lion roars, and seven thunders uttered or spoke their voices. It is the voice of Christ as the lion of the tribe of Judah speaking through through his angel today on the last day in the seventh millennium to bring the resurrection of the saints and the transformation. Now notice who is that mighty angel coming down from heaven and in what are those feet represented one on the sea and the other on the earth it is none other than the ministers of Moses and Elijah which would be operating at the end of the dispersion of grace where he promised the son where the promised son would be emerging from the church to bring the resurrection and the transformation of our bodies. And all that is taking place in this new dispensation, the dispensation of the kingdom, which is in a stage where the children of God, the elect of God, are being prepared for adoption as Jesus was being prepared there to be adopted for which the ministries of Moses and Elijah were present for that occasion, for that adoption. The ministries of Moses and Elijah are required for the adoption. You cannot cut classes or skip classes. In other words, you cannot be listening to the tutor 
las giving us the instructions and giving us everything for the adoption. If you skip a class and you leave and you are not in class, when the exam comes, you will hang up, you will fail, you will not pass that exam, and you will not be able to copy later because it is not a matter of one copying from one another. This is an in, this is it is an individual with God. And we are sitting, listening to that tutor. The Holy Spirit at this time is giving us through, uh, through the coming of the mighty age of Revelation 10, showing us through the ministries of Moses and Elijah, all the things and all the instructions and all the details to obtain each one of us to obtain our adoption. And thus, be able to receive that voice which is the voice of the Messiah of that promised son in this end time. On page 242 of the Church Edges book the edited one it says it is the morning star that is visible when the light of the sun commences to shine. When our son, Jesus, comes, there will be no further need for messengers. He will bring us his message of cheer. He writes here of Jubilee himself. And as he rules his kingdom and we live in his presence, the light of the word will become brighter and brighter in our perfect day. And he writes seventh millennium and seventh dispensation and the age of the cornerstone. And he draws a cornerstone, writes, he, uh, he draws a cornerstone and writes eight, and at the bottom, the last three, he writes five, six, seven. In other words, the son is already maturing his children to soon enter that glorious millennial kingdom. And thus, reign first for a thousand years and then for eternity. It has been a privilege to be able to send these words under this topic, the trumpet, the voice, uh, the trumpet echoes the voice of the Messiah. May God bless you greatly, the missionary Miguel Bembrez Marine, and all the ministers. And brothers and sisters there in Matamoros, Tamaulipas, the, the, with the Reverend Raul Hernandez Carvan, and all those who are through the satellite and through internet in the Amazonas. May God bless you greatly, and may you continue having a happy day, filled with the blessings of our Heavenly Father. And pray that tomorrow also God will allow us to talk about everything that has to do with the topic of tomorrow, which is very important, the mystery of the half hour silence in heaven. As far as we can talk about all that part of that half hour silence, because there is a part that cannot be made known so that imitations do not arise of how the pillar of fire, uh, how the pillar of fire will be working and how it will be operating in the culminating part after all this teaching, all this stage that is extremely important to reach that stage and to see those who are going to be resurrected. So everything, all the stages and all the phases of the seventh seal are very but very important and you cannot skip any of them. We have to go through all of them, all those phases and all those stages to get our adoption. The trumpet echoes the voice of the Messiah. God bless you and God keep you all.